And Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky is wishing America a happy birthday over the weekend. He wrote that Ukraine is grateful for the U.S. for providing both support and an example of liberty. It comes as the Biden administration announced last week it's sending an additional $500 million in military aid to Ukraine. And that includes more than 50 heavily armed vehicles and an infusion of missiles for air defense systems. It's the 41st time since the Russian invasion into Ukraine that the U.S. has provided weapons and equipment. The aid should help bolster Ukraine's counteroffensive, which has been moving slowly and in its early stages. And that's your Newsmax News Minute. All right, Christina, thank you so much. Well, as you know, tomorrow is the 4th of July. Our next guest is joining us to discuss the launch of an initiative to give back to veterans this year. Well, AMC theaters, Regal Cinemas, and Cinemark theaters are stepping up to air a patriotic country music concert across America for one night only, and that'll be on Veterans Day. But the effort is first kicking off this week, asking Americans to sponsor a vet and send them to the movies for a night. Well, here to discuss is American country music singer and songwriter, one of the best, Lee Greenwood from Missouri. So thanks for joining us. We <laughs> on appreciate a tour it. Bus. Yes. You're welcome. Great to be here. We're on tour, of course, all across America. We'll wind up tomorrow at Bass Pro and uh, in Missouri, and we're just you know talking to people about this Adopt a Vet program because I think it's a perfect opportunity to bring it up. So tell us about this. I know Americans go to adoptavet.com if they want to sponsor tickets and stuff. But tell us about this program and why you're encouraging people to step up and and sponsor, you know, a, a veteran. Which, you know, when people think of why would a veteran need to be sponsored? Well, they're dealing with some tough things in life. Yeah, they are. And first of all, let me tell you, that this is an amazing concert, by the way, featuring artists. A lot of my friends, uh, Gavin DeGraw, Dustin Lynch, Michael Ray, Jamie Johnson, Crystal Gale, Michael W. Smith, the Isaacs, uh, Lee Bryce, Big and Rich, all friends of mine who came together to have this concert available at movie theaters across America. It's actually the day after Veterans Day, but it's that weekend. That's 11-12-23. And uh, it, it'd be something that if you go to the website, adoptavet.com, you'll see how for $50, you can send a veteran and a caregiver to the show for free. Or if you want to bring a veteran yourself, please do that. Uh, it'll be an exciting concert, and I know it'll uplift them on a very special day they deserve. I, I love what you're doing here. And of course, you know, we it can't help but ask you, uh, Lee, on the eve of Independence Day, uh, any idea how many times you've sung your song, God Bless the USA? Well, you know, it's like I wrote it in 1983 and uh, it's had a, an interesting ride. And of course, after you know, after the attack on America, I went to New York three different times and I, I sang at Yankee Stadium for the Fireman's Memorial and my wife, Kimberly, was there with me. Uh, I did the Policeman's Memorial at Carnegie Hall in the fourth game of the World Series. I think one of the things that terrorists wanted to do was to knock out our way of life. And that's why it was important to get sports up and running as quick as we possibly could to let them know you, you didn't do that. Uh, since then, of course, our military went on the uh, offensive and uh, we've lost an awful lot of soldiers in the meantime. So we have a lot of wounded warriors. So we're we're building homes for wounded warriors. And that's kind of my mission now. But with adopt a vet at least we can have these veterans come to a motion picture theater across America and just see this wonderful concert. And we'll give tribute to those veterans as they deserve. Lee, does it worry you? You know, your song gives me goosebumps when I hear it. Honestly, it's one of the greatest songs, patriotic songs. But there's a there's a movement in this country of, of too many, I think, that don't think that this country is blessed. You know, they think it's cursed or they think it's on the wrong track or that that flag represents something evil now. Hmm. You know, what do you think when you when you hear your own song and what we're dealing with in this country today? Well, I wrote it in 1983, and you may not know this, but my wife, Kim, and I took our family to France, and we were there for two weeks. And I made a stop at Normandy where I sang their We Laid a Wreath while they played the national anthem. And I sang God Bless the USA uh, at the gravesite for 10,000 soldiers that gave up their lives on the beaches of Normandy uh, for the freedom of the world and the freedom of France. So if you have a moment to think about that, I don't think you'd question the freedom of America. You heard what Zelensky just said about uh, wishing America a happy 4th of July. They know the difference between freedom, and we should as well. 
This country is it's very unique. It got started as a republic, as an experiment. And I think the experiment is worth keeping myself. I, I, I may be from California. My dad joined the Navy right after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. So I've lived through the wars that we've had in Korea and Vietnam, and I understand how freedom can only be one generation away from losing it. So folks, you know, you need to get on board and that's stand for the flag and kneel for God. All right, Lee Greenwood, again, really appreciate you using your talent and your God-given gifts to help others, particularly with Adopt a Vet. Again, we need to go to adoptavet.com, an incredible concert where you can sponsor a vet or even an entire group of vets. Uh, businesses can do that, $5,000 to rent out an entire theater. That's happen happening on Veterans Day weekend. Lee Greenwood, uh, we are proud that you are an American and thrilled to have you on the show. Thanks so much. Thanks, Katrina. Rob, have a great 4th of the July. Yeah, mm -hmm. you too. And Lee, by the way, Katrina threatened to sing the song live on the air. We, we told her, don't do that. No, I warned I, that I, I wouldn't do it. We would love I you to do wait. it. I can't wait. Yeah, no, you don't want to hear that, Lee. You just don't want to hear. All right. Thank you so much, Lee Green. Happy Independence Day. Thank you. <laughs>